I'm here in the Card Player Studio with Pam Brunson. Now, she was the last Brunson standing in this year's main event. Pam, what was that like? Um, that was pretty awesome. I was, it's my second year I played, and I was pretty excited. My dad didn't want to put me in because he said it was a crapshoot, so I was determined that I was going to cash. And um, Did you find a backer, or did you I, buy yourself in? Um, my brother took half my action, so um, I, was, I wanted to show him that I would... I, could do good and show my dad that he should have backed me. <laughs> I think so, he did. Yeah, yeah. And um, so I felt bad when Todd got out. Todd and I both made it to the third day. Mm -hmm. And um, then I could hear when he was busting out and I ran over. And I didn't think before I did it, but I yelled, last breath of standing. And <laughs> I don't know if the cameras got me or not, but I, I felt kind of guilty about that. But um, but I was kind of proud at the same time. So, But you did have an advantage over the other Brunsons. You had Casper with you, right? Yeah, had Casper and Kitty. So these are the card protectors. Now Casper has a big story behind him, right? Tell us about it. Um, this is my dad's card holder, and he's had him for years and years. And um, he actually named his dog Casper, his little poodle, oh, okay. as well. Um, he's just used them throughout the years, and I guess Howard Letterer decided that he wanted Casper, so my dad sold Casper to Howard, I believe, for 3500 and it's actually in my dad's will that upon his death, Howard gets Casper. Um, I would really like to have Casper, <laughs> so... Um, so Howard may not get him. I don't know. You're well, going to contest Howard and Dad would have to work that out, but um, Howard, I'd really love to have Casper. I've grown fond of him. I've been using him all series, and I'm going to use him over in Europe. Um, so I'm getting very fond of him, but, you know. And what about the other card we'll protector? <laughs> is this that yours? Is Kitty. My nickname's Queen Kitty, and um, so I use her all the time. Okay. So. So after you were the last Brunson left standing, was your family there to support you while you were playing? No. Todd went home. <laughs> <laughs> so you went out, I believe, with Pocket Queens against Ace Jack. Do you blame that on the fact that it was Friday the 13th when it happened? No. <laughs> you know what? It was 15 minutes before the end of day three, and I was getting short stacked. Well, not short stacked. I had 150000 but I had to, everybody else was chipping up, and I had to make a move, and I was in... Um, the small blinds actually called me. I came around to me in the button, and I pushed in. And or no, I I raised, then he re-raised, and I pushed. And you up. went all in. And so, then, then an ace hit, so I busted. But I felt good about my play. I learned a lot, um, and I had a lot of fun. So it had to have brought back bad memories from last year. A very similar situation, didn't you? Move in in the last main event with Pocket Kings, and yeah. again the ace jack got you. How do you know that? I do my research. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was my first series, and I really, I've learned a lot since then, but yeah, that was awful. So Ace Jack is That was nemesis. devastating for me, yeah. There were 55 events this year in the World Series. How many did you participate in? I played in seven. And you cashed in another event in addition to the main event, right? Which I was did. that? No Limit Hold'em. I heard a rumor that you're going to be playing World Series of Poker Europe, and you're going to be backed by Doyle this time. Is that true? I, that's what I heard. <laughs> that's what my dad told me. Um, I called to let him know I got out of the main event, and... He said, well, you're already in in Europe, so I'm like, so I'm excited. So you have plans to head over there? I'm going over September 1st, so can't wait. And you, how much do you get to keep some of the money, even if your dad backs you, or how does that work? You know what? We haven't even talked about that yet. I just know I'm playing. You just got to, you know, daddy's a little girl. You can Hopefully get away with a lot. I can keep all of it. We'll see. <laughs> so your first major cash was at Binion's last November. You played in the, uh, the Binion's Ultimate Poker Challenge. Uh -huh. What made you start playing in events at that point? Um, you know what? Actually, my first major cash that I consider was um, um, on Dole's room. Oh, okay. Um, my dad put me in um, as a bounty. And, um, you know, usually with bounties, if you knock them out, you get so much money. And um, so I was one of the bounties, and I ended up winning. And so the first thing I did was call. There were 700 and something people, and I called my dad to let wow. him know. And um, he goes, you just cost me a lot of money. He had to pay everybody else back their entry fee. <gasps> that was the promotion they were running. So I cost him 35000 and then I, um, <laughs> and then I won, too. So that was uh, exciting for me. Um, I, I love playing online. I played a lot online and at Dole's Room when we could play. Um, and um, that's really where I got into playing No Limit. Um, do you play other games as well? I'm I'm historically a limit hold'em player. I've uh, been playing 15 years. I 
I learned to play Omaha High Low back then too, so I played that throughout the years. And we used to play um, Hold'em High Low too, and I play oh. a lot of just fun games. I used to run a retirement community, and I um, used to have poker with Pam for the residents, and really? so I taught them. And we used to play. They didn't like Hold'em; they like crazy games. So played a lot of crazy home games with them. So do you have your eye on a bracelet next year? I do. I would love to get one. That would be the ultimate goal for me. Um, just to, to get a bracelet. Are you in possession of one of your dads already? I am. I thought he mentioned that to me. He said, I oh, give really? bracelets to everybody <laughs> in my family. I don't even have them. You know what's really sad is he actually doesn't know where most of his bracelets are because back when he was winning them all, it really wasn't that big of a deal and, you know, the bracelet part. Yeah. And he didn't play a lot of events um, because he was playing the side cash games. And that was more lucrative. But I do have one. Then. So when you were growing up as a kid, did you know about poker? Was it did you know your dad was a poker player, traveled on the road, or what I did. was that like? Um, my mom used to tell us not to tell people what my dad did for a living because it was frowned upon. Um, I always did anyway. <laughs> I never really cared. <laughs> but um, yeah, there was a stigma attached to it. I'm very glad my dad's gotten to see all of this come to light. Positive and, poker. Um, and positive, and he... he is now recognized and yeah. um, back he went to Hardin Simmons University and was an all-star athlete and they went and put him in the Hall of Fame because he was a gambler. Oh. So I'm really glad that um, now you know he's getting recognized in a positive way. Did you learn to play poker from him? <laughs> um, no. No? I learned, I read Super System. Okay. Um, so you did learn to play poker from him in a way. <laughs> yeah, my, my dad um, used to say, you know, does a cab driver want to come home and drive? Um, he, he didn't really want to talk too much about cards or play cards when he was at home. Um, if I had specific hands to question him on, he would be good to answer him. And I used to sit back and watch him play a lot. He used to play a lot online. And um, I used to watch him a lot. And I learned a lot through, through watching him. Um, Todd and I started out pretty much together, and I learned mm -hmm. a lot through Todd um, starting out. And um, lately, Hoyt Corkins and I are real good friends, and he's been teaching me some moves. So um, I'm kind of a cross between <laughs> Todd and Hoyt. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty dangerous uh, at the tables? Uh, um, I'm trying to become more dangerous and more <laughs> aggressive. I'm more like Todd with throwing a little twist of Hoyt in there. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm, I'm an amateur, and... Um, I'm a work in progress. <laughs> so. so by trade, are you a poker player or do you have another profession? By trade, um, I used to, I'm in the retirement industry. Oh, you mentioned that. I used to run retirement communities and that's really, um, that's what I did out in California. I worked my way up in the industry and um, ran assisted living communities and I loved that. Um, that's where I met my, um, my ex-husband and um, we ended up moving out back out here seven years ago when I quit and been renovating houses and uh -huh. um, playing cards. Um, been playing No Limit the last year since the last World Series real faithfully. Until then I was purely, you know, limit. Yeah. Well, it seems so. to have worked. I mean, you have four big caches and No Limit tournaments it's, already. It is. It's very different. I was very timid at first, but I think I don't like Limit anymore. <laughs> so what's your favorite place to play here in Vegas? Oh, boy. Um, I love Binion's if they had bigger games. Um, that's my favorite. They have the incredible staff, um, the Dillers, and I'm comfortable there. I've been going there all my life for, since I was eight. So um, love Binion's. I just wish they need, they need to get some bigger games going. So I, I haven't been going down much since they don't have the Ultimate Poker Challenge anymore. Um, starting to go to, I've been to the Red Rock a couple times, the Wynn, um, Bellagio, Mirage, you know, I kind of go around. I haven't been to the Venetian yet. I want to go there. Um, been going to Caesars. I've been playing yeah. quite a bit. So um, I play bigger limits online than in What live. limits do you play I've, online, if you don't mind? I, I just play 510. Okay. Um, I play a lot of tournaments. I love sit and goes, and I love heads up. So I do a lot of the bigger sit and goes, 500 buy-ins, or um, and heads up too. That's my favorite. Um, yeah. But Lots I of action. Play, yeah, I need to play more um, live, so that's what I'm starting to try to do. Well, thank you for coming by, and we'll definitely keep an eye out for you on the tournament circuit. Well, thanks. This thanks is Lizzie Harrison with Pam Brunson for Card Player TV.